started my transition when I was in my 20s, when I was about 21 years old. I would get the experience of other women freaking out about me using the restroom, and that became very dangerous for me. In 2005, I was involved in a hate crime and I was shot in the face and I lost my right eye. I have a glass eye now. That's when the world changed for me. The bathroom is often the start of trans people experiencing uh, violence out in the world. LA LGBT Center implemented gender neutral restrooms about six years ago. So not that long of a time. Even within, you know, this space, which is very inclusive of trans people, uh, there was some pushback from gay, lesbian individuals who uh, didn't understand what that would mean. I think over time people have really understood that it's about safety and inclusion. It's about creating a space that is safe to everyone. This is the city of West Hollywood, the epicenter for the LGBTQ community. Really, our home, our safe space. You know, we're ahead of the curve, I guess, and trying to lead. Hopefully, within no time, everyone's doing this, and not only in the city, but you know, statewide, nationwide, everyone's taking this step. I'm one of the fortunate ones. You hear of trans women who've been visually, viciously beaten in the women's restroom, who have been dragged out of the women's restroom, sometimes by other women. In the show Transparent, you know, they have a scene where uh, the main character, who is a trans woman, is harassed in the bathroom by a family. And seeing something like that is so sad because it reminds me personally of just how much fear people have of trans people. In reality, trans people just want to use the restroom like anybody else and then leave. Uh, Enda died because of the bathroom issue. The discussion became in Congress about, you know, so should we have genital verification before we allow people to use the restroom? Uh, isn't it dangerous to use the restroom with a trans person? It's my biggest uh, hope that will come out of all of this, that trans people will become a part of the fabric of America.